In this video, I will generate an entire SEO optimized article using ChatGPT both with GPT 3.5 and with GPT 4. Welcome to Digital Toolcase. Uh, if you like AI, AI tools, uh, SEO, blogging, affiliate marketing, uh, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. But now let's go. I want again to compare GPT 3.5. It's the same model you can use even with the free chat GPT version. I will use the turbo one to make this video shorter. Anyway, you can do the same thing with the free chat GPT, but I will also use GPT-4 because there are many differences. And to generate this SEO article, I will also use phrase. Maybe you already know what phrase is or maybe not. You can search on my channel because I already made many videos about phrase. Phrase is one of the surfer SEO competitors and I like using phrase because it's cheaper than surfer SEO and it works pretty well. As you can see, these are phrase plans. I usually suggest this one because you can write and optimize 30 articles every month, but this price is only for the SEO optimization. If you also want the AI writing tool inside phrase, you need this pro add-on for $35 monthly. I know it costs something, but this is a professional tool. We are not using ChatGPT to play like a toy, we are using it to write professional SEO optimized articles. And when you work professionally, you need to spend some money and invest some money in some tools if you want to have more chances to have success. Anyway, you can try Phrase for five days for just one dollar. You can find the link here in the description. Now, let's suppose you only choose this plan. You don't want the pro add-on, so you will spend 40 five dollars monthly and then you can use chat gpt for all the ai part i'm inside a document in a phrase this is where you analyze your competitors analyze the serp for this specific query washing fruits with salt this is my query i already analyzed this serp i can see my competitors i can generate an outline and i can optimize my article using these and NLP and LSI terms. I used this future to extrapolate all the important things from this SERP. So I have, for example, people also ask questions and maybe I can use them inside my article. I have a top 20 topics, the most important. I have topic clusters and here I have also statistics, uh, all generated by phrase because here, for example, I can see some statistics taken from the SERP. And if I want, I can include them in my article. In this example, I will only use uh, these uh, topic clusters and these topics, uh, uh, NLP and LSI words. I made them comma separated just to make it easier to generate a prompt for chat GPT. Once you know the terms you need to include in your article to make it more relevant for your query and then ranking higher, you can go to chat GPT. So this is GPT 3.5 and this is my prompt. Generate a detailed outline for a blog article about the main keyword washing fruits with salt. I want the outline to be SEO optimized. The main keyword needs to be in the title and at least in one of the H2s. Exactly under each H2, you must indicate which of the following keywords needs to be used in the specific section of the blog. And then I copied all these uh, keywords. Let's try because it doesn't always work. Uh, let's try like this. I see it's uh, giving me the keywords here. Okay, I'm using the turbo version, but you, do, you can do the same with the uh, free chat GPT. Anyway, I have my introduction. Here I have my H2 and then use of the keywords with some of these keywords. So this time it's working. I'm seeing if uh, I have washing fruits with salt even uh, 
uh, even in one of my H2s, not exactly. So this uh, thing, it's not respected uh, because I wanted to have in uh, one of H2s my keyword and I don't have it. Anyway, now I will generate the entire article section by section. I don't suggest you to generate all the article with just one prompt because sometimes it doesn't work well. Instead, I will do something like this. Write the introduction, include the following and then I will copy this part here and start to generate my article. I will do the same even with the other section, uh, with a slightly modified prompt. This is the prompt for all the other section. So in this case, my section is this one. Uh, write the next blog section, include the following points and use the suggested keywords. And here I have use of the keywords. So ChatGPT knows what keywords to use in this section. And here it is, I have my entire article and as you can see under every section it also indicated me the keyword used. Now I will copy all these uh, article inside the phrase document so we can see how it's optimized for SEO. Okay, I have here a 1039 words article, not too long. Anyway, I'm over the average for this SERP, so this is still good, but what I want to see is my SEO optimization. As you can see, we are at 55% for this topic score. Here is where we are uh, compared to our competitors for this SERP based on the topic score. Not bad to start uh, with uh, an SEO optimized article. We are anyway over the average. The average here is 42.7%. And then we can uh, optimize even more by inserting some of these words. If you use only phrase and if you want even this pro add-on for $35 monthly, I think it's uh, even better because you can use here this uh, AI part, uh, you can uh, use your keywords here and any time phrase uh, writes something, uh, it will include these keywords and you will be well optimized. You can also use this uh, chat here it's uh, very similar to chat gpt it's using uh, 3.5 uh, uh, gpt 3.5 and you can even write your entire article here in the chat uh, maybe i will do a specific video about it it's working pretty well if you use the chat anyway now i want to do the same thing with the gpt4 so we can compare the results, we can see if GPT-4 is better in SEO optimizing this article. New chat, GPT-4, as you can see now, uh, the cap is lower. GPT-4 currently has a cap of 25 messages every three hours. It was 100 every four hours. Uh, expect a lower cap next week as we adjust for demand. And let's hope this will go up. I hope I will have uh, enough messages to show you this uh, GPT-4 article. The prompt is the same as before. Uh, it will be way slower in generating the output, so I will uh, accelerate this video. Perfect, this is my outline and I have my keywords under every section and I also have here uh, I also have a washing fruits with salt, so I have my main keyword even in one of the H2s. So in this case, GPT-4 uh, was better in understanding my prompt. Now I will do the same, so I will generate the entire article, hoping <laughs> to have enough credits for today, 
and uh, then I compare the two articles based on the SEO optimization. I will speed up this video because it will take a little bit of time. Perfect, GPT-4 just finished to write this uh, long article, it's longer than the one before and in this case, uh, as you can see, I also have some age trees, so this article is more detailed. Anyway, now I will copy all this article into phrase so we can see the SEO topic score and compare uh, between uh, GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. Ok, this is my article with GPT-4 inside the phrase and the first thing you can see is this words count, 2106. The other one was a little bit more than 1000, so GPT-4 wrote a longer uh, article and as you can see we are way over the average for this SERP. It's uh, well structured because as I said you also can have some H3s with this article, you also have some lists with the tips for properly washing fruits with salt, we have a list here how to properly dry and store produce and then if you notice you also have a tease uh, here before every H2 in the next section we will discuss alternative natural cleaning solutions and so on you may get rid of these because uh, usually in a blog post you don't write in the next section but you can uh, anyway change this sentence but now I want to see the SEO optimization score I suppose it will be higher than the other uh, article. I also forgot to include uh, some keywords in uh, this uh, introduction, so uh, it could be even better. Anyway, let's go to the optimize tab and it's 77%. The other one, the GPT 3.5, was 55. So with GPT 4, we are starting from a 77. We are quite good here in these competitors list so with a little bit of optimization you can easily go to 100% with uh, this article. This means that GPT-4 is better, writes uh, longer articles or longer article sections, uh, well more detailed, uh, well more structured and well more SEO optimized if you uh, give uh, your keywords uh, to GPT-4. Obviously you need to pay at the moment in order to use GPT-4, you can use the paid version of ChatGPT, you still have some limits as I showed you before, or if you want to use uh, only phrase, for example, you can purchase this basic plan and then this uh, $35 monthly add-on. You have unlimited words with this add-on, so you don't have any limits, uh, but uh, at the moment it's using uh, GPT 3.5 and not GPT 4. I suppose it will be included. I know, for example, that Jasper is including GPT-4, but not in all the templates, because GPT-4, it seems better in some tasks and not so better in other ones. Chibi, for example, Chibi already introduced GPT-4, uh, not in all the writing, but uh, uh, it's quite good, I have to say. And here it is. This is how you can generate an SEO optimized article using ChatGPT and Phrase, in this case, or any other tool for SEO optimization of your content. Again, you can try it if you want, five days, just one dollar, so you can see how it works. And you can find the link here in the description. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so you will not lose my other videos. 
about phrase i already made many videos so you can search for them in my channel thank you very much for being here until now and see you soon in the next one